Earlier today, I got a chance to catch up with an exclusive game one, one-on-one -on -one with Bolt's play-by-play -play man, uh, Dave Mishkin. Here it is. Joining me now is Bolt's play-by-play -play radio announcer, Dave Mishkin. Dave, uh, let's talk about this. Setting the tone in game one, especially on the road. How important is it to walk away from this game with a victory? Well, look, it'd be great. I will point out, Jameson, though, that in their previous cup final appearances, the Lightning lost game one in 2004 and came back to win the series. And they lost game one in 2020 and came back to win the series. So this isn't like an elimination game. I do think that you want to at least look at earning a split in these first two games and not be in the position they were in last series when they were down 0-2 to the Rangers and really were up against it. But yeah, if they can get the win tonight, start off the series on a good note and, and put the pressure on Colorado right off the bat, That'd be great for Tampa Bay. All right, this Avalanche team, uh, that lineup is a juggernaut. They have a lot of speed, and it's going to be speed versus structure when it comes to the Lightning structure versus the Avalanche speed is what everybody's kind of talking about. How do they meet that in order to kind of contain the speed of the Avalanche? Well, I think that that's one storyline. I don't think it's the only storyline. I mean, the Lightning have some speed on their side, too. And if they can play with the puck a lot in the offensive zone, which was a big element in their series win the key to their success against the rangers in the last series like colorado if it has to play defense without the puck can't really go on the attack right but you're right i mean whether it's mckinnon mccarr their cast of characters they can accelerate through the neutral zone so what do you have to do if you're the lightning i think managing the puck is going to be really important so you're not feeding their transition game but they don't even need a turnover like they can start deep in their own end and execute up the ice so that is when your neutral zone structure has to be solid and you try best you can to slow them up before they get going but it's easier said than done last question we're talking about dynasty yesterday during media day if the bolts can pull this off in a three-peat does this solidify a dynasty for the tampa bay lightning well i guess it is going to depend on how you define it. I think some people are saying what they're doing, just getting to three straight Stanley Cup final series is incredible in the cap era because you can't hold on to players. And the Lightning have not been able to hold on to players through these three years and these three appearances. But I think the general consensus is yes. If they can get four more wins, they will be a dynasty. Dave Michigan ahead of game one for us tonight. Dave, thank you. My pleasure. All right, and you heard Dave downplay the urgency of Game 1s there just a little bit because the Lightning haven't always fared well in Game 1s. And the reason I asked that question is the winner of Game 1s goes on to hoist the cup 76% of the time. I'll see everyone out here after the game.